Hi Covenant Kids. Welcome Hi. to story time. Henry and I are here to read you one of Henry's favorites. This is called Jesus and the 12 Dudes Who Did. Do you remember who the dudes are? Yep. Yep. Here we go. A long time ago, Jesus called 12 guys who were all different in goodness and size. They were called disciples and they followed Jesus closely. They gave up their jobs. They were fishermen, mostly. Fishers of men. Jesus saw Andrew and his brother fishing and he called to them, follow me, from Matthew 4, verse 18 to 20. That's dad. <laughs> Andrew was the first to hear Jesus call. He spent his life sharing Jesus with all. This is Andrew right here, down here. Okay, that was Andrew. Is that one? Yep. Okay. Loving like Jesus. Jesus showed his disciples love by washing their feet. John followed this example of love by serving. John was the youngest and very full of love. He loved to talk to Jesus and God above. There's John. This is John right here. And that's dad. Yeah? Mm -hmm. A boy's lunch. Jesus fed about 5,000 people with only five loaves of bread and two small fish. That also comes from John. Philip was the one who stopped to think how can Jesus give 5,000 people food and drink? There's Philip. Philip. Philip, yeah. Philip is right here. Right there. Good job. A true follower. Jesus healed two blind men on the road. Bartholomew followed and watched as Jesus performed many miracles like this. That's from Matthew. Old Bartholomew was honest and true. Jesus loves a pure heart, Bart would say to you. There's Bartholomew. There's Bartholomew. Bartholomew, that's right. And that's Dad. Because <laughs> his name is James, right? Yeah. Silent serving. James traveled with Jesus as he went throughout Galilee, teaching in the synagogues and churches. That comes from Matthew. James was very quiet with not a lot to say, but he served Jesus well and he lives with him today. James has the same name as Henry's dad. There's James. You're talking about dad. Well, I did because you did. A little donkey. Two disciples brought Jesus a donkey to ride on into Jerusalem. Also from Matthew. Thaddeus did what Jesus said without quitting. Always helping people. You'd never see him sitting. There's Thaddeus. And there's Thaddeus right here. And there's more people disappearing. Yeah, we're kind of counting down, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. Thomas would not believe that Jesus rose from the dead until he could see Jesus himself again. John 20. Thomas didn't always believe what Jesus said. Faith was in his heart, but doubt was in his head. And here's Thomas. Here's Thomas. Henry made a good observation that we are counting down, so there's less and less disciples on this side. Listening closely, the crowd that gathered around Jesus was so large that he got into a boat on the lake while all the people were along the shore at the water's edge. That comes from Mark 4, verse 1. There's five people. Five disciples left? Mm -hmm. Simon was excited about Jesus' teaching. He would sit and listen then go out preaching. And here's Simon. Now how many is there going to be left? Four. Very good. Jesus is taken. Judas led the crowd to Jesus to have him arrested. From Luke. 
Judas was a man who went his own way. He didn't stay with Jesus even on the last day. And here is Judas. A miracle. Jesus called Peter to walk to him on the water, but Peter became afraid and began to sink. Jesus caught him. That's from Matthew. Okay. Peter talked a lot about many things, what's right and wrong, and the joy Jesus brings. He's the tall one up here, hey? Matthew? That one's Peter. Okay. Do you remember what Matthew was? Yeah. Before he was a disciple? Yeah. Let's find out. It's on the next page. All for God. Jesus saw Matthew in his tax collecting booth. When Jesus told him to follow, Matthew left all of his money and things behind and followed. That's also from Luke. That's Matthew right there. So he was a tax collector Matthew? before he became a, a disciple right there. Okay. Matthew loved money and always wanted more until he met Jesus. Then he left it for the poor. And here's Matthew. Mm hmm mm hmm A little girl lives. Jesus brought a little girl back to life. All who were watching rejoiced. Mark 5, verse 38 to 42. James was little, but he gave his very best. Being a disciple was one exciting test. Another James. There were two James disciples. Here's James. Who is that? That's another James. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations. That's from Matthew 28, verse 19. A disciple is someone who learns something from a teacher, then helps other people learn it too. So these disciples learned something from Jesus, and then they went out and told the rest of the world. What does that say? James. Yeah. You can be a disciple by learning the things Jesus taught, like love, forgiveness, and trusting God, then loving and serving others the way Jesus did. Did you write that? I didn't. That was in the book. So that means you can be a disciple too, just like these 12 dudes who did. Thanks for helping me, Henry. You're welcome. Can you say goodbye? Bye. Bye.